He just felt that there was a tremendous power and energy and diversity in our music that adding sort of symphony elements to would, would sort of just make it one more notch, you know, different or interesting or one of the above, something like that. When Michael first worked with you in Nothing Else Matters, were you then afraid of sounding something like Brian Adams? Yes. You were? Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, basically, I mean, if you listen to the Black Album, I mean, you know, you'd be really hard-pressed to find the symphony orchestra in Nothing Else Matters. I mean, we, we were so scared back then, but 10 years ago, when we first worked with him, we were very, very intimidated by the whole thing and very scared of not being super heavy metal all the time. Did you have to learn to conduct your moves? No. You just look at Michael and what he's doing. And... Yeah, I'm going, what is this guy doing? How did he get up here on stage? Um, <laughs> Michael was the link between the orchestra and Metallica, but Michael did not really dictate what we were doing. We were more dictating what he was doing in terms of the tempos and the count-ins and that type of stuff. And did you meet any prejudice for Metallica's music by the symphony orchestra members? I think maybe initially there was a little bit of sort of like, what are we doing here? But, um, you know, that they were very impressed with, you know, how we could do what we were doing and how we could remember what we were doing because everything they do is, you know, off paper. Um, so I think that, um, you know, there was definitely, um, once we got into it, they were much more respectful of, of us. But at the same time, I mean, You know, the reason they were doing it was because I think they were also open to a challenge and to doing something different. So you have to sort of remember that they were there, not, you know, nobody forced them to be there at gunpoint, you know. Of the album S and M, does it refer to the pain of playing with the symphony orchestra? <laughs> That's great. Um, <laughs> uh, it could. <laughs> I mean, you know, it could mean a, it could mean a lot of things. It could mean symphony and Metallica. Obviously, um, it could mean so many different things. I, 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 you know, we just wanted a title that was not so obvious you know even though you do this type of stuff you just sort of try and not take it so fucking seriously yeah. you know and that that there's always an element to sort of irony or cynicism or sarcasm or sort of lightheartedness you know obviously it's not the lightest project we've done but at the same time i just you know i, I think anytime you do these types of things there is a danger of it being too pompous and too sort of Ta -da, too grand and too self-important and I think you know you know trying to just play with things like that in the title is just trying to bring it down a notch from that you know nowadays making records and these types of projects are much more creatively stimulating than they were before and let it not be a secret that I don't think any of us are as excited about touring as we used to be. Now does that mean that we don't enjoy playing live and traveling to places and reaching people with our music? No, it doesn't mean that but you know 10-15 years ago All you wanted to do was get drunk and get laid and, 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 you know, be on the road. So road life is great for that. But now it's just a different situation.
Hey, it's Lars from Talica here. You're hanging out, listening and watching Yurki. That's what I wake up and do, is I play my music, which is really a combination of rock and roll and classical music. Metallica are about the loudest band you could possibly invent. I wasn't sure what to expect. I kind of thought it was going to be where he just, you know, deciphers the Metallica music and kind of the rigidity of the riffs and the 4-4, four, 8-4, four, four, you know, all these things and kind of just enhance those parts and go along da -da 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 with us and I didn't know how else to hear it. There's plenty of skeptics out there. Oh, it's not going to work. People shaking their head and this has to be taken with, you know, a grain or two of salt because this is just, it's all about having fun and trying something new. Now, we got some people out there that I know uh, like to let loose a little more than others. Just kind of show them what's up. We, uh, we like it when you sing, man. Fortune fail, mirror fail, gone insane, but the they're more secure about themselves and there's no question that Metallica are Metallica. Um, so this doesn't raise questions, this is just an experiment and it's a pretty far out one, pretty brave. Michael Kamen is just like working with another person who's in the band. And for all intents and purposes, he is in Metallica for, for this, this project. <laughs> He's got his uh, hands full with this. You know, it's, it's pretty interesting, and I don't know how in the hell he does it. He's up there, you know, making little things in the air. All I know is when he, when he makes a pentagram, that's when I come in. They really do read their music, but I think Michael Kamen has really told them, you've got to listen, you've got to listen to outside things now. I think they expected big whole notes and to be playing like, and instead, they're working as hard as Metallica. They're... I can't hear too much of them in my ear monitors, but uh, I know when the floor starts rumbling, something good's happening.
think one of the key things for us was that we felt kind of you know, juvenile, and I think that we earned their respect. I think that as soon as we played a couple run-throughs of some of those first songs, I think they realized and we felt that it was pretty cool and that we were kind of sort of on even, even keel in a way, and that there was um, the same amount of respect coming from them to us as there was the other way. Hey, James, can my friends get my picture with you? Hell yeah, man. Come on.